Hi, it's John. Now it's got to the maize harvesting time of year again. Uh, this is from our window. Big lorry load of, or trailer load of shredded maize forage. Oh, there's a green thing there. What's that? Oh, that must be another trailer just there. I think last year when I was doing this video I was on the old Vivitar camera. So now I've got twice as much zoom to play about with. Um, probably been a good year for maize, I don't know. It's been quite a good year for farmers all round. As which you know, we've had three hour long programmes on BBC about the harvest. And uh, there was somebody in Hampshire where they were growing sweet corn and sweet corn plants are quite a lot smaller than maize plants a lot shorter about four or five feet tall and not so many cobs on them um, I know I know when we grow them in the garden they don't grow massively tall but you know you just think well I haven't done it properly but they had a, a harvester for sweet corn on this program and it, they were treating them quite gently and then had a whole packing system actually on the farm and they were chopping them into sort of um, two inch lengths and wrapping them up in polythene. I was thinking well what, what's wrong with the actual natural um, casing of sweet corn you know the natural shell just sell them as they are because they don't look quite posh enough but uh, maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they don't keep very well in in the um, in the leaves. But it certainly looks quite nice in the leaves in the shop. If if you've got them in the leaves, and it looks like a, a sort of different product if they're wrapped in cellophane. I used to drive trailers like that have a few disasters you know um, you unhook the trailer and forget to unhook the hydraulic pipe and it stretches a bit and then it boing. of course that stops everything you've got to mend the hydraulic pipe then um, I don't know if I had any other big disasters I was mainly carting grass and corn about and some straw and hay. We never had maize on the farms that I worked on. Now, where's the comp Where's the forage harvester gone? I thought it might. Um, I thought it might have been here by now, but maybe he's not doing headlands. Maybe he's doing rows at the other end of the field. I did see it a bit earlier on, but I can't hear it now. So maybe it's broken down. Lots of maybes. Our big chicken bullet. I can hear it again in action. Oh, here it comes over the hill. That's full zoom now at the on the moment on the Panasonic. So that's um, 42 times zoom with the stabiliser on. I reckon that's pretty good. So I'm handheld. Something very fascinating about about that process isn't it? It's a very man thing. Converting something organic into a sort of powder.
What happens when you get that trailer full, I wonder? Is there another one coming around behind? So he is still doing headlands. I mean, last year it was a self-propelled harvester. I'm presuming that it's a self-propelled one again. Maybe the same one. Um, oh, going behind the hedge. Oh yes, it is a, it is a self-propelled one. Nice nose, like an air raid siren. Oh, like he's going out in, out in the field. Oh, no, certainly going again. Same trailer. Well. Wow. That's it, I've got it, I've got the pictures. Not much more I can do now. Um, it's the 20th of October. Right, bye for now.